up, boss? What's up, man? How you doing? Big, big opportunity for you, man. What? You got big opportunity this week. Talk Fuck about yeah. that a little bit. This is a great opportunity. I'm super excited to be here. I'm super excited to fight. Uh, last year I fought in the house, and I haven't had a couple years since I've had a fight that's like this with the build up, you know, the matchmaking, the whole thing goes into the ultimate fighters real fighting, but you only get like a day, you know, it's they say, oh you're fighting this guy, but I just love the excitement. I love the build up. This is what I live for, man. My all week long I've just been amped, waking up early. Just excited to be here. I was gonna ask you to talk about that too because it's not like you've been inactive because you did have those those fights in the house and you've been training but but it is a different thing when you when you're doing it for real, you're doing it for the fans. TV yeah, live. it's more fun. I think it's more of a build-up. We have a cool old fan thing out here with people cheering, doing open workouts, doing all that. It's this is just fun, man. I love this shit. I wake up in the morning excited to do this, excited to compete, excited to show off what I've been working on. I've been the last couple years been training harder than I've ever trained. I've added in jujitsu. I've added in my striking. I've done everything to get better. I'm a complete martial artist, and I'm excited to show that off. Is that a tough situation or is it a situation where in retrospect you go, all right, it's a clean slate, it's a chance to do something new, something else, obviously a million dollars on the line and yeah. this whole thing, but how, how do you how do you frame that for yourself as you as you move forward from that from that portion of your career. Yeah, you know, I'm super thankful for the UFC. If it wasn't for the UFC, I wouldn't have had this opportunity to be in this tournament right now. You know, no one would know who I was. No one would, they would, I'd be some local fighter, hopefully to get in this tournament. But because of the UFC, I've had the chance to fight the best guys in the world. I've got to train with the best fighters in the world. I've made connections where I've traveled the world, training with this camp, that camp, learning from this and that. And so I'm, I'm excited, man. This is like a great opportunity to accumulate all that work, you know, and kind of put it back into a perspective of more of a of a tournament, of a fight, more of a sport, and I'm I'm super excited for it. You knew you were going to be in the tournament. You knew who else was in the field, but once you got the call that it was going to be Brian Foster, what did you think of the opponent? What does he bring to the table? What do you have to watch out for? Yeah, once I found out I was fighting Brian Foster, the first thing I knew was get ready for a power puncher, man. The guy goes out. He doesn't put, uh, doesn't really try to set you up. He just tries to sleep you. So I'm super excited for that. I fought a lot of tough guys. I fought a lot of great jiu-jitsu guys. I fought a lot of great strikers, a lot of heavy punchers. So, you know, it's just another chance to showcase my skills. And I think Foster's a great veteran to showcase my skills and really show where I feel like I belong in this tournament as the number one seed. What do you, uh, what do you think about the format of this tournament? I mean, it's, it's, it's a tournament as such, but the, the sort of how, the, how you earn points and how you need to kind of qualify to get into the playoffs. What did you think of the public format, John? The format of this tournament's awesome, man. It's super simple, super clean, and merit-based. You know, I'm a, I love the merit-based. I'm a right brain kind of thinker. Two plus two equals four to, in my head, and period. So it's win fights, move on, win the championship, period. Nothing else in between. When you win that championship, you're the champion that year. If you, for one reason or another, are hurt and you can't continue, then you're not the champ that year. That's just simple. Like, LeBron James gets hurt, he doesn't get to win a world title. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's merit for this year. 2018, I'm going to prove I'm the best fighter in the world. You said 2 plus 2 equals 4. It seems like the magic number two weeks ago was 6. Yeah, 3 plus 3 equals 6. There we go. That's how better. How that change how you go into a fight knowing that, you know, hey, if I win, great, that's 3. But those guys seem to really be kind of gunning for that first round finish because that extra 3 may make a big difference, you know, a few months from now. I mean, my game plan's the same. I didn't matter what show I was fighting on, who I was fighting. I was going for first round finishes since day one. I'm a fighter. I'm out here to make violence. I'm out there to fucking hurt people. I want to put them down. I want to make people bleed. I want to put on a great show. I want to go out and perform. So it doesn't matter if I get six points, zero points, whatever. If the fight was for free, I'd go out there and try to beat his ass no matter what and try to finish him as early as I can. I'm out here because I believe in martial arts. I love martial arts. And I want to show that my martial arts is the most violent out there. I know you don't want the zero points, but tell me how you think it's going to go down on Thursday night. I'll have six points at the end of the night. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, no, I think if anything, the long layoff has been a benefit for me. I was fighting pretty much every couple months since I was 19, 18, 19, 20 years old. I never had time to sit down and work on my game. So I was always, oh, I got this fight coming up. I got to get ready for this fight. Oh, I got this fight. I got to get ready for this opponent. For the last couple of years, I've been able to sit down and I've actually worked on my game. I've been, okay, what do I need to improve on as a martial artist? What do I need to do to get better? Not what I need to do to win this fight. Any special victory plans? 
Yeah, I have a couple victory plans. You know, I'll definitely be partaking in some uh, festivities afterwards and uh, doing some uh, recovery with some THC and CBD afterwards. Thank you.